will always, always settle the account. Whatever you do, you will reap, whether you like it one way or another. Every opportunity that you've been granted, if it's at work, be faithful, have integrity. Do your job, live. If you take that opportunity to slander, to plan, to scheme, and to do evil against other people, don't worry. Your plate is being prepared. You will be served on a dish. If you are in a relationship and all you do is hurt your partner, bills, kick, whatever it is that you're doing, don't worry. Your dish will be served. If your intention is uh, you think you are the player of the players, don't worry. Your dish will be served. And every deed, every action, every word, remember the scripture says, we shall all account for it. So don't think you can be able to run and say, hey, I was a robber, now I'm saved, I am just a preacher or whichever, or a servant of God or whatever. And let's say you never got the punishment due to you. Trust me, my friend, your time is coming, your dish will be served. And sometimes it's even scary when it comes to the children who have to carry the cross of your action. King Saul is a very good example. The Gibeonites, if you go back in the times of Joshua, were the ones who deceived Joshua, and out of their deception, Joshua having learned they were just their neighbors, ended up in the process of the five Amorite kings wanting to come and fight the Gibeonites. Joshua had to go and fight. Years later, King Saul, being the Benjamite, decides to do a cleansing and wipes out all the Gibeonites. King Saul dies. King David takes power. And one day, they, 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 don't, they think it's famine. So eventually, when he's asking God what's the way, he gets to learn there's an incident that happened while he was running away from King Saul. Mind you, King David, was not, he was literally running from King Saul. Who do the Gibeonites are seven children from the bloodline of King Saul? So there's a lady whose two sons are snatched, I'm forgetting her name. Anyway, Saul's family, I accept Mephibosheth. The rest are killed and heads put on a pole and then later removed. Then there's rain in that area. The actions of King Saul costed the life of his grandchildren. When King David was in power, when he was running even away from King Saul, all the people who were involved frustrating him, planning, scheming, even his own nephew, Joab, eventually when King, Sol King Solomon took power, he settled the accounts. He dealt first year to deal with each one of them. Samson, when he had the wife he was given, he thought he was a smart one because he was strong and mighty and all that. And he was trying to think he was smarter than Delilah. Mm -hmm. Delilah cut off the hair. Samson is weak and is toasted. Everything that we do, the account will be settled. One way or another. And there's no leaving this earth until it's settled. Even if you are gone, your children will carry that cross. Every time you gossip and slander about someone's family or children or everything, you're planting a seed. Eventually, that seed will come back to haunt you. And when it does, you will be very shocked how it will come. We are all accountable to our actions and to our words. Whatever it is you are doing, do it faithfully, do it for God, and do it not always looking up, down, east or west, because the one who created is everywhere. So where do you think you can hide? Psalms, when you read the book of Psalms, David says, God is everywhere. Even if you go to hell, he's watching, he's everywhere, he's in every corner. He has control over everything. So never think you're too smart. If you think you are a uh, husband snatcher, professional, eh, you have the beauty, you have the looks, eh, you have all the vibes, you can do things sexual to make a man forget his problems, don't worry, don't worry. That five-year-old kid you're watching, when they turn 20, mm, that man, when, when now you're settling and say now I want to relax, uh, most women have even said, let me go to church and uh, I'm going to be saved and all that, but... Mind you, they are only doing it because now they're looking for the next person who they can uh, carry forward their sins and chill. And this innocent gentleman marries you, has no idea about your, your record back then, and you are now settled and everything. 
Remember those marriages you destroyed? It was fun, eh? When that the wife of that uh, gentleman uh, was crying because they didn't have school fees, they didn't have food, and used to kick them because you could uh, turn that guy on in different ways. Remember the, those that child that suffered five years when she was five years. Now she's twenty years. See her husband, eh? She will uh, snatch him. Not only snatch him, stay in that house and kick you out. Mm. Don't worry. These accounts must be settled. You are a gentleman. You think you're the smartest one. Uh, you go around, professional heartbreaker, eh? or professional seed planter. Uh, you are going sleep, child, here, child, there, professional, PhD certified. Don't worry. Your account will be settled. You will meet your match. Because you won't be strong for too long. So every chance you get, you are a relative. Eh, uncle, uncle, auntie, auntie, eh? you know yourselves. Taking advantage of your nephews and nieces to make them grind hard to lie to them, bring me your CV, or give them opportunities. But all you do is destroy their lives. You use them, you abuse them. Don't worry, your time will come. You are not going to be old for too long, young, you are getting older. That child you mistreated, that family you kicked to the curve, God will settle that account. And trust me, when that time come, see that child you mistreated will be the only hope you have. It's going to get worse if they're actually a doctor and uh, you're the patient. And uh, they are the determinant to decide if you live or if you die. Horror time, eh? Don't worry, your account will be settled. Each one of us, our account will be settled one way or another. If, you, if you've given the best you can in a relationship or marriage, and you're suffering everything, don't worry. God will remember you. It may not be today, tomorrow, he will. If someone has mistreated your children, don't worry. Those children whom you're suffering, carrying them from one place to another, God will remember them. And one day, they will rise up to be more than even your eyes could ever dream of. Every tear you cry, God is watching, and that account will be settled. So don't give up. If you are there, you are the mamamboga, carry your child there. When you are selling, sell with them. You are selling groundnuts, you are seated there, sell with them. One day, that child will be the business person, all in everything. And they'll put your name out the, up there. So, don't be ashamed of your hustle. At the end of the day, you're all putting food on the table. That doesn't matter how you put as long as it's illegal. Uh, sorry, as long as it's legal, not illegal. If it's illegal, well, that's a whole different ball game, but it's legal. God will always settle the accounts. Uh, King Asarias, uh, Queen Vashti, when she thought, oh, I am the only one, the hot one, the beautiful one. Mm. Queen Esther, from a whole different, has lost her family, lives under her cousin. What happens? She becomes the queen. She enjoys the fruits even ten times better. Even the king helps her fight the people of Haman. God will always settle those accounts. It doesn't matter how long it takes. God will settle those accounts. So whatever you're going through, hang in there. Don't worry how many people will kick you, how many people will abuse you, how life will be hard on you. It's a season. The time will come when that account will be settled. The brothers of Joseph not only wanted to kill him, they sold him. Potiphar's wife sold a, saw, oh, saw, saw a slave, a Hebrew, someone she could just do whatever and get away with it. That account was settled. So for those ones who use their race or their ethnicity to undermine another race or another ethnicity, thinking your time won't come to suffer, don't worry. See that person you are kicking, that person you've locked up, that person you've mistreated, that person you've told them they'll never be, that person will be your leader. And mind you, you will report directly to them. One day, that account will be settled. Every action, everything you do, God will give it time. Remember the Bible is clear. First Peter 3, 9. God is not slack in his promises. God is not mocked. He will settle the accounts. It does not mean you are, it does not matter if you are a believer or an unbeliever. The Gibeonites were well, they believing in God, no? But God had their prayer. He settled that account. So for those who think because I'm Christian, I'm safe doing things to an unchristian, and I'll get away with it, I am sorry for you. That non-Christian whom you have mistreated and thinking it won't, you will continue what you are doing, God will settle that account. Mm. It, it's facts. Read your Bible. It's there. Uh, that's if you use it as your point of reference. 
So every account, those politicians, you're taking advantage of people's children. You are raping people's daughters. You are mistreating people's sons. And when they rise up, you are killing them. You are slaughtering them. You are doing all my, you are skinning them. You are doing, don't worry. Among them that will be alive, a bloodline shall rise up. It shall deal with you perpendicularly. You will know you don't know. You will, you will not only suffer even in your death. Your bones will see no, will see no peace. That account will be settled. It's not me. History shows, scripture shows. Everything that we do, everything that we do, we shall pay. You have a sibling, and all you do is mistreat your sibling because you think you can get away with it. Your children, you see that sibling you are mistreating, will love that sibling you are mistreating, and then you'll have nowhere to go, nowhere to run. Your account will be settled. A parent, you are take advantage of your kids and you are mistreating them and doing all the wrong things that you want to do, thinking it won't happen. Your account will be settled. Everything that we do, there is no running. In the same strength that you use to do evil, the same shall be done to you. God settles those accounts, one to the other. It is the timing that becomes interesting. You see, it doesn't work like us. You see, We've been, since social media has come and technology, we like things smart on the dot. And that's why you look in the scripture when King David is talking to God, asking him, why do the wicked steal? But when you read through, he gets his answer. Job, he gets his answer. God will settle the account. So be very careful what you tell people's children how you treat people's children, how you treat everyone around you, your environment, because a day will come, your words, your actions, and everything you've done, it will come back biting. That servant you are mistreating, that servant you have kicked, that servant, one day, their child shall be the one to determine if you live or if you die. That account will be settled. It doesn't matter. You are a colonizer. Eh? You, are the, you are the ones who decide how the world wants to go and you are busy destroying other people because you want to call them they are lesser thinkers, lesser this, lesser this. You are going to be settled. Eh? Among the illegal who are calling illegal, you are going to be settled. One day, you will be the one now under those people. And that's why if you look at these so-called developed... Now, who are the people who are getting their seats? Were they not the bloodline of the illegal immigrants who I wouldn't even call them illegal to the extent because they didn't choose to be illegal. They had a home, they had a family, but one day they had bombs on where they were, they lost their family, they went, they ran, they survived through seas, through waters, wherever way, they ended up in these counties, one way or another, tried maneuvered, maneuvered, got into the system, go and eventually someone got wide. Someone got a position. You think they forgot what they went through. They will make sure they settle in, put policies that will avenge what they went through. But that time, that colonizer or that uh, settler will not see it coming. Because when they're getting older and less strong, remember that one who you made suffer, they'll have multiplied. They will come back to take what was taken away from them. You don't have the strength to fight back. Everything we do, the account has to be settled. Sadly, if your children have to pay for your own sin. That's the saddest part. Imagine you are a child, you've grown up knowing your parent is okay, they go to work, only for you to come and learn to suffer in life and everything. And mind you, there's nothing dangerous like if your parent or your grandparent was a very bad person, then you have that generational name. And then people mark that generational name. It didn't go well with you. So every action you do today, even if you don't pay for it in your life, a life, your bones will pay for it. Your children will pay for it. Your grandchildren will pay for it. So every action has a reaction. God will settle those accounts, one to the other. There is no running. You see, David thought by killing uh, Uriah, he got away with it. He never had a rest all through. 
all through. Because that one action of thinking he was untouchable, it costed him. When Joab had every opportunity to do what is right, stop King David from his madness, he was the same one who wanted to bring Adonijah into power. Mm, Solomon settled with him. And look who he used, Benaiah, if I'm not wrong. So God will settle that. And you know the funny part? It is when God is settling the account, he will use the child or the bloodline of your adversary, of your enemy, to settle the account on your behalf. And mind you, you never even know this story is happening. You will never even know, notice it's going on. You'll be busy because you've already suffered and you've gone through your pain and you've moved on. Like you literally moved on. What you don't know is there's someone who will always carry that pain that you went through. There will always be someone who will carry your story. You will never know about it. And they will make it their mission to make sure what you went through has been settled. And mind you, whoever is this person, there are people you cannot control in their action because you don't even know what they are doing. They won't tell because they know you stop them. So they will do it without your knowledge. So let's be very careful. How you treat animals. You are seeing a dog, you are mistreating it, you are not feeding it. You cut all those animals. Don't worry. One day you'll be going somewhere and some, and some dogs will be seated somewhere, whether stray dogs or non stray dogs. They will deal with you perpendicularly. Or you are mistreating your cows. Don't worry. One day you'll go to someone or there'll be a cow from a slaughterhouse running at a skelter. It will ram you over. Because at the end of the day, we are all going to be held accountable to our tongue and our works. Don't ask me. Go read your scripture. It is there. Because we can't get away with doing wrong, thinking it will not come back. It will. Judas, when he took the silver, that is silver coins, he thought he was smart. He thought he was better. But his stomach burst. Was it worth it in the end? That is silver coins. Yet he had worked three years and had seen the miracles and experienced everything. Everything you do, God will settle that account. So take care of those around you. Do good. And if they do evil to you, don't avenge them. Pray. Leave them alone. Have your boundaries. Move. God will send whoever he wants to send to come and he will, con and will complete that rest with you. Do the work. Don't worry how much you've suffered. Release those people. It will hurt you emotionally, mentally, socially, physically, but let it go. Let it go. I'm not saying forgive and forget. We forgive. They forget but I never know where it comes from. We forgive, we release. From us, let it go. Put your boundaries, move on. But I promise you, those tears, that blood you shed, that sweat, God will settle that account. You work in a company, you give your best, they become malicious, they make sure you never get what's earned for you. Don't worry. God will settle that account. God will use an enemy for an enemy. Or a whole different, or God himself gets involved. Accounts will be settled on this earth before you go. And even if you go, your bones will suffer. And those are the facts at hand. Don't ask me. Read your Bible. Everything is right there. Because at the end of the day, people take this for a ride. And that is why you find it's even hard to work in, as a if you want to work within even a church setup. Because of this, the, the way you'll be treated is the way the Congress thinks you've been treated and you'll be treated is there are two different worlds. I know, I've seen, I've dealt with people who've been there and I'm like, ah! Mm -mm. And if you think I'm lying, go ask any employee who works under church or under ministry. Ask them, are you treated the same way like other people? Are you treated very differently? And sit down and take notes, then you'll be surprised. Whether it's not only church, but any religious or faith institutions, same thing applies. So everything you do today, God will settle that account. You think you know how to steal and you think you are corrupt, don't worry. Everything you've been doing, it will be done to you. But when it will be done to you, you'll have no strength. You're a police officer, all you do is, or a security, a security agency, all you do is go after innocent people, kill police brutality, hunt them, lock them down, torture them. Don't worry, my friend. You, as you're getting older, it will come back to you. If it's not you, your household, your bloodline. Don't ask me. Go read your Bible.
It's right there. You see how asset, accounts are settled. When Israel went this way, Philistines were there to settle this side. When Philistines were going this way, Israel was there to that side. There's always a settling of accounts. Let's be very cautious of how we live our lives. Let's be very cautious of how we deal with everyone. So just because you have 20, 15 heartbreaks, don't worry. Go through the healing process. God will send the right one at the right moment and will forget even the pain you went through. But release, forgive, move. Pray, move on with your life. God will settle the account. That's why he says, vengeance is his, not yours. Because when you avenge, who gets the glory? You get the glory. Where is God in all that? But when God is an avenger, hmm, even you don't want to take notes. Because his ways are not our ways. So, forgive them, release them, move on with their life. But remember, we are all accountable to our words and our actions. And the moment you think you are too smart or because you are in a place of power, a place of authority, don't worry. Your time shall come and your account will be settled. I want you to be settled. Mind you, when you are doing evil to people, you are doing it behind closed doors. God will expose to it everyone to see. So, don't need to believe in karma or all these other mystical words. No. Scripture is very clear. Vengeance is, vengeance is for God. Let God avenge for you. Leave them to God. Forgive, release. After you've done that, put your walls, put your boundaries, move on. Block, move on. But God will never forget his children. One way or another, he will restore, he will remember you. You see, one has to go down, one to go up. Someone has to resign for a vacancy to be there. Or to be fed for a vacancy to be there. I'm just saying. God will settle their accounts. So don't worry what people are doing behind their backs. Don't worry. What they're doing behind their backs, very soon, at God's appointed time, it shall be exposed for all to see. They'll have nowhere to run. So release them, forgive them, move on with their life. It won't be easy. It will hurt. You will break. You will cry. You will want to do all manner of damage. But I urge you and beg you and request you, forgive them, release them, and go. Just keep going. Now you know. Now you know who they are. Now move, 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 move. God will bring the right people who will come along the path and will go. Don't worry what they did to you. God will settle their accounts with them. And when you'll be where you are, don't laugh. Because God has settled. Because when you do that, you're giving God and another reason to say, mm -hmm. no, don't laugh. Do good, go your way. Good for good. Don't do evil for good. good for... When they do evil, do good. Don't do evil for evil. Do good, clean, pure heart. You suffered, but God has been with you. Now go. God will never forget his people. Release them. Move on.